Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and Amy here, and today we're looking at another so-called modification for the roll-up. But again, <laughs> there are a lot of people who think that this is a lot harder. You have this moving floor underneath you that you have to kind of stabilize against, um, but it does actually help especially the flexion of the spine, to be able to get that bend and straightening of the legs and not holding the legs straight and rigid the entire exercise. So you might notice that that's the modification here, that you're able to articulate and create more of a supple spine in this version of the roll-up. So Amy's starting with her feet onto the foam roller and you have to negotiate for this to work. Um, sitting bones, uh, close to the foam roller and to your heels. You can't be too far away. And then her arms can come up. She'll take a deep inhale. And then on the exhale, she'll bring her pelvis underneath her. And she'll start to push out through her heels. And so the back of her heels are really pressing down into the foam roller as she goes down one disc at a time. She'll bring, and Amy's really good, she's bringing the arms all the way over the head, which some people are not able to do. You're only, um, uh, able to do that if you're able to keep your mid back down, right? And so now she's going to come up, peeling her spine up like a sticker. So as she comes up and over her beach ball, she'll bend her knees, rolling the roller back into her. And she's thinking about creating as much length in the front of her spine as she can. We'll sit up tall. She'll bring the pelvis underneath her again. She'll anchor the heels down. Good, one vertebrae at a time, thinking of the opposition of the legs. Inner thighs up, heels out, keeping the front ribs down. And then when she's ready, she wants to think ribs are rolling to bring her head up. She keeps that little tangerine between her chin and her chest. She pauses when she gets to a sticky spot. Good, and she'll bend the knees and she'll come up and over, really lifting the front of the spine. Good, and up and rest for a moment. Now, you don't have to, at the top, you don't have to bring your client up to a straight spine. You could do it more traditionally, that they stay curled when they come up, and of course, um, keep that long, connected curl as they go down. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.